My name is John, and I'm from Connecticut. I've been involved in politics for 15 years, ever since the age of 11, and I had the honor of serving as vice chair of the Connecticut Federation of College Republicans when I was in university. The rhetoric which the president is espousing is not why I joined the Republican Party. I joined the party because traditionally we have adhered to the values of fiscal restraint, local control, and open dialogue. We are experiencing a leader who is squandering my generation and future generations with an increased financial burden, a commander-in-chief who refuses to listen to his advisors, and a president who actively stifles those who politically oppose him rather than bringing them into the fold and trying to find an acceptable compromise. One of the most important values that every citizen learns growing up is the importance of loyalty and trust. Mr. President, you've turned your back on our allies and broken the bonds of trust with the American people. We have leaders nowadays who simply fall in line because they are scared of a tweet. That's why I can't support him in November, and I hope that my fellow Republicans, Democrats, and Independents, my fellow Americans, band together against an administration to send a strong message that Donald Trump does not uphold the foundational concepts of our republic. Individuals who have been engaged in the political arena for far, far too long have had a go-with-the-flow attitude. And at this time, at this defining moment in, our, in the history of our nation, we must come together and challenge those in power, those who currently have authority, and those who control our lives. In this election, there are no excuses not to get off the sideline and become engaged. It is a time for choosing, a time to put country over party, and a time to believe in America once more. That is why I am proud to be an openly gay Republican supporting Joe Biden to be our 46th president of the United States of America. Thank you.